Hi everyone, so this is the first day of a 30 day challenge that I'm doing for YouTube and my name is Mike and I run this YouTube channel and it's been around for a lot of years. I've really only used it for random like fitness accountability and things like that but I'm changing that up here in this 30 days and I'm gonna post a video a day and the video will probably be anywhere from two to five minutes long each day and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me in this video so I am a technology professional I've been that for probably close to 30 years and my specialty is web development years ago gosh mid 90s we had to make a choice you know were we going to stick with web development or were we going to go down the desktop development path now I know that to some of you you say desktop development what the heck is that but back then that was really the choices that businesses had to make. They either had to put all their things, all their applications into web development arena, or they had to put it into a desktop. And a lot of businesses were opting for client server desktop applications because they weren't sure about this internet thing and how, how it was gonna work. Uh, but as, of, as you know, as of today, the internet's huge. Web development is the largest percentage of all development. And in fact, now developing for mobile applications is becoming fast, the biggest uh, growth area in development. So here we are in uh, the year 2018 and it's either mobile development or web development. You rarely get anything other than that. And so I decided to specialize in web development way back when web pages were just text and maybe some a couple of graphics mostly text though and html was the only language that was used then over the times then instead of having styles that were in the html they created style sheets and you had a separate area to store your styling and then along came javascript i can't remember i think it was like netscape 1.1 or something to that effect they had JavaScript, and at the time, any kind of web page that was run by JavaScript for like showing and hiding things, it was called DHTML, dynamic HTML. And when you think about it, it's a strange label to give something because the HTML wasn't really doing the work. The HTML was simply doing what it always does, rendering a look and feel of a web page. The, the dynamic part of it was the JavaScript. And so I learned all of that, and over the years, I went out on my own, and I started my own company and now I am the chief web scientist for the web scientists Inc and we have a lot of diverse product lines that we utilize at the web scientists in fact we're going to be creating I'm not sure if we created it already but we're going to be creating a web scientist YouTube and I'll put it in the comments below when and if we do that I'll even come back here and edit this video to add that you should look at that if you want tech tips, if you want information on virtual assistants, if you want to learn how SEO can improve your business and increase your bottom line, then you're going to want to watch those videos because we are going to implement a system wherein we do short little videos on a regular basis to help you understand technology. Now, I'm also, you know, I'm a dad, I have four children and they're uh, in, in range from 26 all the way down to 14 and it goes girl boy girl boy so I have two of each and um, they're really important to me they're why I do everything that I do and they're why I why I try to keep up on everything so that I don't ever find myself behind the eight ball then um, I'm on my second marriage but the reality is this one is the one I should have had the first time around and she's the most supportive person in my life and she's the reason why I continue to try to improve my skills you know I'm in my 50s and changing what I've known over my life is a very difficult thing but I've been trying to get more and more away from actually writing code and more into creative content and that's difficult for me because I'm not the most creative individual, so I have to stop and think more about it. Unlike most people who see something and bam, they have this idea, I have to think it through. 
and I have to really understand what I'm going to be doing before I do it. Templates help a lot, and what's good is that as from being a programmer, as I learn some of these graphic tricks, I what I quickly find out is that I can do those things if I see how other people do it first. So I learn from looking at other people's work and then I continue to work on improving mine. Right now, I am working on a plan to learn and perfect video editing. So this 30 day challenge is gonna be huge because for instance, one of the days I have to record what goes on in my life. Clearly, I can't just sit here for five or six minutes and talk to you. I have to have video pieces and put them together. So I'll be working on that and I will put together a nice video and hopefully you all like the video and you continue to watch and subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, especially during the 30 day challenge because nobody likes to record videos that nobody's looking at. So I'm gonna share this on social media. I'm gonna share the hell out of it everywhere. But just know, you know, to me what's important is my family my pets, we have three cats, a dog, four guinea pigs, two fish, and a hermit crab. We call that the zoo. And let me tell you a little bit about what's been happening in say the last three years, is focus has become more on content creation. So I'm running five different podcasts. I'm looking to start a sixth podcast, but I won't be the host want someone else to be the host. Um, we are getting into video editing, as I mentioned. We are going to create, we have a little video studio equipment that we've set up for that. We're gonna do more audio programs. We have the Zoo Media Network at imzoo.com that is there to add some controversial and, you know, I can't think of the word, um, but it's, interesting content that will keep you interested and engage you. We're working on social media management and we're learning more about how that works. And we try these things through um, trial and error. We just try and see what works for our stuff. And based on that, we present to, to our customers strategies that actually work for growing your social media presence. We also have a virtual assistant division that um, is growing quickly and is a big portion of our revenue. People need help and they don't mind paying for somebody who's remote to help them as long as that person knows what they're doing. And so we make sure that the person knows what they're doing, we help them through it, we manage the projects for them so that that way deadlines are met. We don't just hand the work over and turn our back. Um, social media management, search engine optimization. We, we work with companies who are smaller and medium sized businesses to improve their search presence on all of the search engines. And the approach we have has been quite effective. We focus on content. Content is king today. The search engines, they consume the content and they determine who, who is the most authoritative and they send traffic there. There's a strategy to that and we'd be glad to help you with that as well. This last line of business that we've come up with is advocacy for small businesses. And really, while that one's not about making a lot of money, it's about helping other people tackle their business issues. Uh, we've seen it all, we've done it all over the years and now we want to join together with other people to fix whatever issues they see in their business, regulatory issues, dealing with the government, how to fill out paperwork, how to get incorporated. We're going to go through all of those things with our members and it's going to be a members only organization. Yes, some free content will be offered, but it's mostly going to be about the members and what the members get. And then the last thing is, you know, over the last couple of years, people have started to hear a lot about CBD oil. And so I have 
partnered with another company who sells very high quality CBD oil products, including lotions, roll-ons, uh, pills, the oil that you just ingest directly. And you know, it's been known to help, and there's pet CBD as well. It's been known to help with anxiety, stress, pain, aches, muscle aches, tension, headaches. It's pretty much a miracle substance. And for dogs that have like anxiety and stress and separation anxiety, it's supposed to help them quite a bit by giving them, if you give them a regular dosage of it. So we're, in, we're involved in that as well and we haven't really uh, opened that line of business up yet, but that's coming here in July and August. And so you'll hear about that more over the 30 days of this video challenge. So thanks for listening to the video. I really appreciate that you're here. Please hit the subscribe button that's down there. And uh, come back tomorrow for more of the same.